The friends waited a long time for the main character in the cafe. Fortunately, in the end, he did come. Despite his busyness, the guy was happy to have some free time. It turns out they met for the first time after. Sun Wu got a new position in the company, so the buddies were very eager to learn about the details of his activities. But after such questions, the guy felt depressed because he realized that he constantly found himself in awkward situations. Everything was so bad that no support could calm him down. Moreover, the company's director probably disliked the new employee. The main character kept getting reprimands for various mistakes. Even though he tried, he couldn't please the boss. Meanwhile, the guy still tried to become a good employee. Frightened by the man's reaction once, he decided to take a break, for which he went to make coffee in a special place. At that time, director Leo was there. The guy saw this as a chance to correct a past mistake. So he hurried to the man, offering to treat him to a special drink, which, as the subordinate said, he could make very well. Deciding to give another chance to the clumsy guy, Leo agreed, but after a few minutes, he regretted it. The coffee was very hot, while he only drank chilled beverages. Sun Wu realized that he had been warned about this before, but probably being very nervous in an attempt to correct the mistake, he just forgot. The guy started apologizing. He saw ice in the refrigerator and decided to try to redeem himself again. Taking a cube of frozen water, he put it directly into the boss's mouth. In this way, he tried to help him cool down after the wrong drink. But the boss was only embarrassed and became even angrier for the invasion of personal space. After that, the man ran away, not wanting to communicate anymore. Obviously, after that situation, the director started avoiding the subordinate. Even when he tried to invite him to lunch, he immediately evaded the answer. The friends couldn't say anything comforting to Sun Wu. So they suggested just drinking a little more alcohol and relaxing in that way. Already quite drunk, they were all returning home together, when suddenly the main character noticed one of the establishments. His director was sitting there, dining and drinking alone, which looked very sad. It seemed he had no friends. Realizing that this was his chance to help the man and apologize to him, the guy left his friends and went straight towards that very cafe. The buddies found Sun Wu's behavior strange, but they didn't stop him. Meanwhile, Leo himself realized that dining without company was sad. Suddenly, an employee of his company appeared nearby with a bright smile on his face. The first thing the guy decided to do was to help the man pour a drink into his glass. Surprisingly, he didn't push the main character away and agreed. However, soon he regretted trusting this person again, because the bottle slipped and alcohol spilled on Leo's pants. Frightened by his own clumsiness, the guy hurried to help the director, which embarrassed him even more and even angered him. Pushing the foolish employee away, the man ran out of the establishment and hurried to hide. The guy didn't understand why Leo had such a reaction, so he tried to catch up with him to at least apologize for what he had done. The man, as it turned out, was sitting in an alley with his head covered by a jacket. Sun Wu became worried, thinking he might be feeling unwell, but the director ordered the subordinate to just leave. Only the guy didn't believe that the man was all right, and so he took the jacket off him. When Sun Wu saw his boss, he was shocked, because there were cat ears on his head. In the world, there were many different races unknown to ordinary people. For example, some humans underwent mutations due to animal genes and became beastmen. Most representatives of this kind are divided into cats and dogs, depending on which they have physiological features. However, there are also other beasts, snakes, rabbits, etc., but all of them hide their true nature. This is because if their existence is discovered, they will surely be attempted to be destroyed, and then they will have to fight for their lives. It has always been this way. An entire race is forced to constantly flee in fear of being killed by ordinary people. Leo belonged to the feline family, but very skillfully hid his essence, as he even managed to become the director of a company. The man was accustomed to living this way. He considered himself better than the people around him and was confident that he would not submit to their rules. He was convinced of his righteousness until one moment when a new employee came to his company, constantly trying to make a good impression. He was very clumsy but continued to try to become a good worker and establish a relationship with his boss. The moment Sun Wu spilled alcohol on the man's pants and then tried to wipe it off, Leo realized that he was losing control and could reveal his beastly nature. That's why he ran away so quickly, fearing being exposed, as then his life would be destroyed. Walking down the street, he didn't understand how he allowed such a situation, as he had recently been sure that he controlled everything. Suddenly, ears appeared on Leo's head, and then he realized that even though he covered them with a jacket, he still risked being discovered. The only option for salvation was to hide and then wait for his body to return to normal, which is what he did. When the company director was sitting in fear in the alley, trying to calm down, unfortunately, that same annoying employee found him. The man still hoped that he could drive him away, but unfortunately to no avail, as Sun Wu insisted on helping his boss. Then he saw the ears, 
which was a shock for both, and therefore neither of them spoke a word for a long time. The main character decided that he had simply drunk too much, and now it seemed to him that the man had a strange feature. Deciding to check if he really saw such a strange picture, or if it was just a vision, the guy touched one of the ears, which turned out to be quite real. Obviously, the feline representative didn't like this, so he brushed off the unpleasant touches. But Sun Wu didn't understand this simple gesture, and continued to persistently touch the unusual body part, which angered its owner. Instead of any explanations, Leo hit the subordinate, and then just ran away, not wanting to continue the conversation. The next morning, the main character came to the office and tried to behave as usual, even though he was still pondering what had happened. He didn't understand what exactly he saw in the alley, and decided to search the net for information about people with cat ears. But there were mainly girls in costumes. Their image was not real, so there was nothing in common with the director in this. From the excitement, the guy felt a headache and didn't even notice how a colleague approached him, who began to carefully examine his request on the monitor. He thought that Sun Wu had strange preferences, but the main character tried to justify himself as best he could. At that moment, he didn't know what to say and therefore mentioned the director of their company in one of the phrases, although he didn't give a full explanation of his words. Leo was already observing what was happening at that moment and asked the subordinate who had discovered his secret to go with him to the office for an important private conversation. In the deserted meeting room, the guy and the man found themselves alone. The beastman couldn't immediately say everything he wanted to, after a brief silence, he tried to explain, making up excuses for the presence of ears. He still hoped to hide his identity. However, he soon became angry and threatened the subordinate not to reveal such an important secret to anyone. Sun Wu, though frightened, assured that he had not planned to reveal his boss's significant secret. But he had heard the guy mention something similar to his secret in the presence of another employee, and now he had trouble believing his words. In an attempt to avoid the wrath of the boss, the main character made it clear that he had made incorrect conclusions about the situation, deciding that the ears were not real. The man, who was already prepared for the possibility of being killed, was very surprised when the guy only promised to keep silent about what had happened. But now Sun Wu became curious about Leo's true nature. He wanted to learn as much as possible about him. At first, the man didn't know how to act, as confessing directly was too dangerous. But then he realized that the truth couldn't be hidden anyway. Sadly, he informed that he belonged to the race of beastmen and had cat genes, which is why he sometimes behaves so unusually. The main character couldn't believe that such things really existed. He had never seen or heard anything about such special people before. Now he was very interested in seeing all the differences in the boss's body from others, such as his tail. The man continued to be angry and at the same time afraid of being exposed, as he had successfully kept his secret for so many years. At that moment, Leo looked genuinely threatening, as considering his position, he had the right to worsen the subordinate's life if necessary. Thus, he almost brought the main character to tears, who was probably too impressionable. After everything ended in a bad mood, the guy returned to work, and colleagues asked what had happened during the private conversation. Although Sun Wu kept silent when he was invited to lunch, it obviously scared Leo, so he himself decided to eat together with the subordinate. Trying to feign joy, the man lied nonchalantly that they had already had such an agreement before. Already in the establishment, Leo explained that he did this only because he was afraid of his secret being exposed, so that the guy wouldn't think of the director as a lonely person. Surprisingly, the main character was calm and even seemed happy to be able to communicate more closely with the company's director. However, Leo still had mistrust towards the guy, although there were no particular reasons for it. Trying to please the boss, the main character behaved as if the beastmen had always been too strict with him, which the man certainly didn't like. When Sun Wu began to eat, he noticed that Leo wasn't eating anything and became worried about him. It turned out that he was just waiting for everything to cool down, as members of the feline family couldn't consume something so hot. The caring guy offered to help the director cool his dishes, but he was skeptical about it. Then he realized that he had made a mistake again, being too pushy towards the boss, and continued to eat his dishes. The director was glad that he managed to agree with the employee about keeping the secret and wouldn't have to change his job now. The guy now imagined his boss as a very cute cat and felt ashamed for thinking such a thing. On his way to work, the guy watched videos with advice on how best to behave with cats. He hoped to use this knowledge to improve his relationship with his boss, which was probably not the best idea. When Sun Wu arrived at the office, there was almost no one there yet. Only Leo had come a bit earlier than the others. From the videos, the guy knew that members of the feline family loved to sleep a lot. And if the man appeared at work so early, it meant he would be very tired all day. 
At first, the guy greeted the boss as usual, but then realized it would be better to use cat-like behaviors. Therefore, Sun Wu smiled friendly and squinted his eyes slightly, as animals usually do as a sign of trust. Leo was shocked by the subordinate's behavior and didn't understand the reason for it, as he had never behaved like that with people. Then the guy revealed how much he now knows about the preferences of cats and intends to use the information in practice. The man was embarrassed. All these facts were absolute lies, and he, as a person with cat genes, knew it better than anyone. The main character tried to justify himself by explaining various ways of interacting with animals that he had studied. Leo didn't want to continue the conversation, as other employees had appeared in the room, and discussing such topics now was quite dangerous. Even while trying to talk to colleagues, Sun Wu blamed himself for once again acting wrongly towards his boss. However, he also had a suspicion that the problem was not actually in his behavior, but in the state of the feline representative after a small amount of sleep. The workday passed calmly, and many didn't even notice when the evening came. Sun Wu planned to leave after everyone else. Suddenly, he realized that the director was still not getting up from his seat, although the rest of the room had emptied. No one should be working overtime now, so the man should not stay, sacrificing his precious rest. Approaching closer, he realized that the man was just sleeping and decided not to disturb him to avoid encountering the feline wrath again. So the guy decided to leave first when suddenly he heard Leo coughing and became even more worried about him. It turned out that the man had a fever, but he still refused help, assuring the employee that it would pass with time. The guy didn't want to leave his boss in such a condition, so he planned to bring him medicine, but he stubbornly refused. All because he understood how useless the drugs would be, considering his problem. Then, not understanding anything, the main character touched the boss's shoulder and tried to find out how exactly he needed help in such a case. The man couldn't restrain his desires after such a gesture, so he grabbed the subordinate by the tie and dragged him into the meeting room. He didn't know what to expect from the director, so he prepared for the worst outcome for himself, starting to beg for forgiveness. But instead of aggression, the man showed his feline nature and in that form kissed the main character. The guy, though not feeling any aversion to the director's actions, still didn't understand why his behavior had changed so abruptly. It turns out that his feline instincts reacted peculiarly to the guy's actions that morning, so the happening was his fault. This surprised the main character, but nevertheless he was ready to take responsibility for his actions and thus help the man to cope with it. The face of the feline family representative during the process was very cute, which his partner liked very much. After everything was over, it became obvious that the director felt better, as even his gaze changed back to the usual one. Leo remembered how the main character had just started working in his office. At that time, he didn't know how his acquaintance with the newcomer would end. The beastman thought that the guy could turn out to be a decent worker and tried to observe his actions. Of course, the director was worried that the subordinate might be foolish and constantly make mistakes due to a lack of experience. In the end, it turned out that Sun Wu became an ideal employee and a good person which annoyed the director and made him biased towards the poor guy. Even despite all the mistakes made by the employee, he tried to fix everything as quickly as possible. And then he even tried to use feline behaviors to communicate with the beastman, and Leo realized that it was simply impossible to restrain himself around him. The man was angry with himself because he should have maintained composure no matter how much he liked this employee. Therefore, Leo now apologized to the main character, regretted what had happened, and asked the guy to forget what happened between them that evening. After that, the representative of the feline family left, leaving the guy alone, and Sun Wu didn't have time to tell him that he didn't want to forget what had happened. At home, the company director continued to feel shame and irritation because he had behaved inappropriately. Nevertheless, as soon as he remembered the main character, his instincts once again made him experience strange emotions. This only upset him more, as until now, he had managed to restrain such reactions. Meanwhile, Sun Wu went home to his parents for the weekend to rest a bit, but of course, all his thoughts were about the director. The idea that he had to forget what happened upset him, and he even refused the delicious food prepared especially for him. After all, it was precisely for the feast that the main character had come to his relative's house, but now he just wanted solitude. The family immediately understood that Sun Wu was not just looking depressed for no reason, so they were worried about him. In his room, the guy recalled the close contact with the boss. He didn't understand how it was possible to forget such a thing. For this, he was angry with himself, because if the boss told him not to think about that situation, he should do so. But for some reason, it seemed difficult. Falling asleep, the guy felt sad that what had happened meant nothing to the man, and therefore it would never happen again. When Sun Wu appeared at work after the weekend, he saw Leo but didn't even have time to greet him when the director tried to escape. But in the end, he almost fell 
and was forced to explain himself to the other subordinates, as such behavior seemed strange to everyone. Understanding why Leo acted this way, the main character decided to just pass by and take his place, not even greeting him out of politeness. However, looking at the embarrassed face of the beastman, the guy realized that he hadn't forgotten what had happened between them, and therefore felt somewhat reassured. Obviously, the emotions of the feline family representative differed from human emotions, but Sunwoo could say the same about himself. During the corporate party, the guy kept looking at the boss. At some point, he couldn't stand such attention and decided to leave first, paying for the food of all employees. The main character understood that the man might feel ashamed and even experienced similar emotions himself, but at the same time, he didn't want to end their relationship. For a few more days after that, Sunwoo noticed how the man constantly avoided him, sometimes making foolish attempts to hide. The director intended to continue avoiding the subordinate for the rest of his life, but unfortunately, this soon became impossible. A business trip was required for some time, and all employees except the newcomer refused. The guy couldn't be sent alone, as he didn't yet know many aspects of such travels, so the director had to accompany him. The main character was also very happy about this opportunity, as he hoped to finally establish communication with Leo after the awkward situation that had occurred between them. The man himself was very upset that he would have to spend several days in close communication with the one he had planned to avoid. As the boss and the subordinate were driving to their destination, a frightening silence filled the car. Nobody dared to say anything. Unfortunately, the man couldn't openly express his reluctance to travel with the newcomer, as it would undermine his authority among the team. Therefore, he was now forced to endure Sun Wu's company, who was even trying to talk to him about mundane things. Looking at the guy's face was even more awkward than talking to him. It would have been better to continue trying to avoid each other altogether. Upon arrival, the main character and his boss attended a business meeting, after which they headed to the hotel to rest there until morning. Unfortunately, the hotel was full, and they had to take one room for both, making the situation increasingly awkward. In such a space, it was not easy for them to communicate with each other. They couldn't even decide who would go to take a shower first. Only in the bathroom could Leo relax a bit, although he understood that anything could happen in such a situation. At night, each of them tried to fall asleep without looking at the other, but it turned out to be quite difficult. The oppressive silence was broken by the main character. He was sure that the director was not asleep, so he decided to talk to him. Although the guy tried to forget everything that had happened between them, it seemed impossible, so it would be best to discuss it now and remove the awkwardness. There is no point for the beastman to be afraid of what happened. On the contrary, it's better to express everything he thinks while there is an opportunity. Yet, it was the main character who started first. He said that he was quite satisfied with what happened that day and did not regret it. However, in reality, he couldn't formulate the words to explain himself to the boss, so he decided to go to sleep. But as he turned around, Sunwoo saw that the man was looking at him. It turned out that it was important for the senior to understand that he was not the only one who was satisfied with what happened in the office. So he suggested repeating it all again, as they were alone now, and no one would interfere with doing it. The guy, of course, agreed to such an enticing offer, and once again, they engaged in close contact. When it was all over, the main character decided to take care of his already sleeping boss to ensure his comfort. Only after this did Sunwoo plan to sleep, but he decided to lie down next to the director so that neither of them would be cold. After they returned to their regular lives, it seemed that nothing had changed. But when the main character came to the office, the director finally greeted him. This pleased the guy, but even in the hotel, it was clear that it had become a bit easier for them to communicate with each other. No one wanted to discuss what had happened, but now both understood that they would not forget the night they spent together. Sunwoo decided not to rest on his laurels and try to develop his relationship with the representative of the feline family. Remembering what his father had once told him, the guy decided to invite Leo to have lunch together, and despite his embarrassment, he agreed to do it. However, the man still did not allow himself to get too close, but the guy liked the progress between them. Therefore, the main character decided that he would always listen to the advice given by his father, as he probably knows a lot about relationships. On the way to the establishment, Sunwoo pondered his next action to get closer to Leo. It was noticeable that he was somewhat absorbed in his own thoughts, which surprised the man walking next to him. Suddenly, he realized that he should continue his attempts to attract the boss's attention, as one should not linger too long at the same level of interaction. The man's food was not yet completely cooled when he suddenly decided to try it and soon regretted it. Then Sunwoo offered him his cool dish to help cool him down, removing the discomfort. The gesture seemed quite cute to the guy, so he thought the director would like it too, but it turned out not to be the case. 
the man became angry and even threw away the utensils he had been using. Obviously, he didn't want to show close contact in such a place. After paying for both meals, Leo rushed back to the office, and the main character, of course, ran after him in an attempt to apologize, but everything seemed futile. Only when Sun Wu had already ruined everything did he remember that his mother reacted very poorly to his father's advice, considering it inappropriate and leading to separation. Therefore, from now on, the guy decided to listen only to his mother, as she probably knows much more about building relationships. He hoped that after the business trip, he would become closer to the man. But now everything seemed to have only gotten worse. A stray cat approached the main character and started showing that it wanted petting. But as soon as the guy decided to touch the animal, it suddenly bit his hand. The guy didn't know what to do next. He didn't plan to back down, but regaining the beastman's trust would not be easy. A few days later, Sunwoo decided to go outside for a short time in the middle of the workday and noted that the director still wasn't looking at him. One of the guy's colleagues noticed that there had been tension between him and Leo lately, so he decided to ask about it. Of course, he couldn't tell the truth, so the guy lied, saying that the problem was probably his constant work mistakes. An experienced employee decided to give the newcomer advice on how to reconcile with the director, as it was obvious that this time he had made a serious mistake. After that, the guy hoped that he would be able to do everything right and that over time, their relationship with the representative of the feline family would improve. The man also pondered their quarrel and couldn't understand why he reacted so sharply to it, objectively understanding that nothing terrible had happened. For some time now, Leo noticed that he too often experiences anger, but usually it quickly passes, and this time it did not. Later, the company employees decided to have a drink together after a hard day. Obviously, the beastman initially didn't intend to go with them. However, as he stood aside while the subordinates entered the establishment, the main character noticed him, and then the others paid attention. After which, they didn't give him a chance to refuse, simply dragging him into the cafe where they planned to relax. The guy stayed outside for a short while to think about his further actions, as it was obvious the man was still angry with him. Sun Wu remembered his colleague's advice that he needed to sincerely apologize to the boss to finally resolve the situation between them. These words seemed quite useful, because if he recalled what happened on the day of the quarrel, the guy only tried to stop Leo, not allowing him to leave, but didn't apologize. Now he was determined, so upon entering the cafe, he immediately took a seat next to the beastman. The man didn't like this. Even more, he was obviously frightened by the subordinate's behavior. He didn't do anything indecent, just took a bottle of alcohol and offered to pour it into Leo's glass. At the same time, he apologized for what he had done, without mentioning the situation itself, as they were not alone now. The man, who was not very angry with the main character, gladly accepted the offer and showed that everything was fine between them now. However, Leo was worried that the clumsy newcomer might stain his clothes again, as it happened last time in such a moment. This time, Sunwoo was more careful, so it went without any mishaps, and the atmosphere in the company immediately improved. After that, they all drank and talked about different topics, trying to be friendly to everyone. The beastman went to the restroom in the middle of the corporate event and realized that he had overindulged in alcohol. Suddenly, he stopped before returning to the others as he heard their conversation. Many noticed that the newcomer had looked depressed for several days. Emboldened by the effects of alcohol, the guy confessed to his colleagues that he had a crush on the company director. Everyone tenderly accepted the guy's words, and no one condemned his preferences. Only the man standing nearby now felt awkward. After the evening ended, everyone went home by taxi. Only the main character stayed to take the director, who was drunk to oblivion, to the hotel. The guy tried to be careful with the man and didn't understand why he suddenly started drinking so much after returning from the restroom. He refused to stop, claiming that he felt perfectly fine, which might have been true. When they were in the room, the main character realized that he could lie down to sleep next to the object of his affection, but decided to leave to not disturb him. However, the man didn't allow the guy to do this, grabbing his hand and pulling him closer, which was quite strange. In the end, this time it was Leo who initiated close contact. Moreover, he even confessed to having reciprocal feelings for his partner. When the man fell asleep after everything that had happened, the main character lay next to him and pondered his feelings for him. The guy was happy about what was happening between them, but still couldn't be sure that such a relationship could be considered normal. The main character still knew little about the company director, so he planned to get as close to him as possible. Later, Leo was the first to wake up, but instead of escaping, he just sat at the other end of the room and watched the sleeping guy. Returning to the office the next morning, the man still felt awkward after the previous night, as he had confessed his feelings under the influence of alcohol. Moreover, Sun Wu's reaction was too positive, so now it's unclear how this situation will end for them. 
Perhaps the main character was already dreaming of marrying his beloved after the simple words of mutual affection. These thoughts were interrupted by Sun Wu's appearance in the office. That day, he greeted the director more cheerfully than usual. After that, the guy simply went to his workstation and casually chatted with colleagues as if nothing had happened. A bit upset, Leo pondered that he was to blame for everything that happened and must accept the consequences. Unexpectedly, a courier entered the office, delivering a bouquet of flowers for the director, which surprised not only him, but also everyone around. Among the plants was a note that made it clear who sent the bouquet. Sun Wu decided to congratulate his partner on the first day of their relationship. Colleagues rejoiced for the boss, whose personal life was finally improving. They guessed who the gift was from. The main character simply stood aside and smiled, watching the beastman's surprise at what he had sent for him. Leo realized that his worst assumptions were confirmed, as the guy thought that since they confessed to each other, it meant they started dating. But remembering how his past relationships ended, the man understood that he didn't want to feel the same again, so he was upset about everything happening. Later, the director was going to leave the workplace, but before he could get into his car, the main character caught up with him. The naive guy inquired about the flowers sent to Leo, but the man didn't take them with him. Moreover, he was curious whether the man had seen the note he had put there. The beloved's cold reaction frightened the guy. Sun Wu was so seriously minded that he even bought matching rings for them and had already managed to wear his. In the end, the partners had to rummage through trash bags because the main character had placed the ring in the flowers, and the man had disposed of the gift. To not lose the precious jewelry, they sorted through every bag in the office building. Sun Wu regretted his action, but was also angry at the beastman for throwing away the gift. Meanwhile, Leo didn't see his fault in what happened and considered the decision to hide the ring in such a way too foolish. For a long time, they couldn't find the right bag. The guy tried to remain silent to not offend his partner. Suddenly, he found what they had been looking for. Pulling the bouquet out of the pile of trash, he retrieved the jewelry and was very glad that it was okay. The guy decided to put it on his beloved's finger, causing him confusion and even indignation, as it seemed the man did not expect this gesture. The main character became nervous, thinking that Leo might not like the ring, so he expressed his willingness to buy another piece of jewelry. The man realized that he could push Sun Wu away now, but sooner or later, they would still reach this level of relationship. So he accepted the gift and even praised it, completely calming the main character. Now they could just go home. Leo even took the flowers with him, which he had previously wanted to get rid of, showing that he still values his partner's gift. The main character was going to take the train to get to his home, but the man unexpectedly offered to give him a ride. Their clothes were dirty, and it was not appropriate to appear in a crowded place like that, so the guy happily got into Leo's car. Before leaving the parking lot, the man realized that he felt something strange, but he couldn't figure out what the problem was. In fact, in one of the cars was a person from his past with whom, obviously, the relationship had not turned out in the best way.